hello everyone so this time what I'm going to cover is this so as you can see that patrolling enemies come in here along the path that I have defined and at the end of the path he's going to wait a little bit like this about five seconds and then he's going to continue patrolling routine so now again he will go to this point and wait a little bit so just like this you can define points that you need this character to wait so that player will have opportunities to pass sneak out some area so some opportunities to make a plan and play the game so again this guy will wait at this point for some time before continuing and to implement this behavior I'm going to use uh, behavior trees and wait time and also some services behavior tree services to update wait time and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so in the current implementation this is how it looks that anime character continuously walking through the defined path but he is not stopping at any point he just go there and turn back right when he finish the path and comes again so what I want to do is he should wait a little bit when he reach the end of the path right so How can we do that? Well, actually what I have to do is when my character reach the end of the path or some point, some specific point at the patrolling path, this wait time should be um, more than zero seconds. So, so first instead of this wait there is another node called wait blackboard time all right so i'll delete this one i don't need it anymore and i'll define a new blackboard key in the type of float wait time right now i can assign that value here by default it should have zero well there is no place to define that I think okay now I need a way to set this wait time so in here in this set move target service I'm getting the target location through this NPC PPI NPC blueprint interface from the enemy character as I have defined here um, for the petroleum enemy I have override it over it here right now when one of these conditions happen so that means I am in at the end of the patrolling path as I have explained in the previous episode because this uh, direction change happens uh, when I am at the end of the path either at the beginning or either at the end so in both cases I should wait a little bit before continuing to work so actually the simplest way would be I could add another return here as the wait time and then I could get that wait time here like this I have get the target location and set the blackboard value as a float but if I do that because this function name is gets next location so this function kind of does not express that it also returns 
the wait time as well that is not good in terms of programming practices because it kind of makes this function like uh, less cohesive I'm not sure the exact term but it's not clean so therefore I'll here define a new variable he set and mm, no I'll name it patrol checkpoint so here because end and the beginning should be a checkpoint in the patrolling path so here I'll set patrol checkpoint to false and here set patrol checkpoint to true and here as well all right now in the interface of the NPC I'll define a new method just like get next location I'll define get wait time and output should be float time okay so now for the enemy get wait time it can be any random variable random number because it's not patrolling so I'll set a random float in a range between 0 and 5 and for the patrolling enemy I need to override get wait time like this and I don't need the parent node so wait time should be selected based on if it is a patrolling checkpoint or not so if it is false I should return 0 if it is true I should return let's say 5 seconds And here now I can add a service well I need to define a new service now I'll name this one S no I'll keep no I'll name it S for service Oh, get no get set wait time. And open it. And just like before, I get the event receive activation. receive activation AI and get the controlled phone get wait time through the BPI NPC interface and I need to set the blackboard key so for that just like before I have to define this BB key variable in the variable type blackboard key and name it BB key should be instance editable set as set blackboard value as float and the value should be wait time compile 
now I can use that service add service s wait time and the blackboard key for this one should be wait time and let's check how it works my enemy started to come the patrol enemy is coming like that let me toggle debug camera right now he should wait here a little bit five seconds actually all right now he's going back So this kind of a mechanisms we can use to create opportunities for players so that play, a player can observe that this guy wait at the end of this point or at some points for about 5 seconds and that time window can be used to pass that area or do some planning and play the game accordingly. Okay, so that's all for today. In the upcoming episodes, I'll continue to improve this AI system and also AI fighting, attacking and stealth, everything. And also sensors like sight and hearing. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. And depending on the tier you join, you will have different privileges. And also, I will upload a source code update soon. And thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.